Hey there, YouTube. A lot of people have told me that they just can't get the mod working, and whether or not that's because they haven't put files in the right spot, or they have conflicting mods, I'm going to try and clear up a lot of things with this video. So here's where I've downloaded all of my Skyrim mods to. I've got Skyrim Online right here. Just extracted it. What you have to do is copy all of this every single file into your Skyrim directory, so right here. You would paste it right here. If you see the uh, Skyrim Launcher TS5EXE, then you're in the right place. Now, I do not have it in this folder, because I keep two separate folders for multiplayer and single player, which is what I recommend everyone does. Whenever I'm switching over to multiplayer, I'll rename this to Skyrim Single. And I will rename this one to Skyrim. And I'll do the same thing under my games. Rename this one to single. And this one to just Skyrim. Now if you want to use other DirectX 9 mods, such as FXAA Post Process Injector, you're going to need a mod called Skyrim 4 Gigabyte. A lot of you probably have it anyways. And you don't have to move anything outside of here. However, you have to move all the DirectX 9 and executable files for the mods you want to load into here. But Skyrim Script Extender is not working with it right now, but it's going to be integrated soon. But it, if you put it in here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mess anything up. But See, I've got everything for Skyrim Online. I've got the files for ENB Enhanced Shaders. FXAA Post Process Injector is in here, actually. Let me copy that out here. Some people I've talked to have had mixed success with getting that to work since the DirectX 9 file is in here, and then the config for it is back in the Skyrim folder. So uh, post in the comments whether or not it works for you. It's worked for me a couple of times, but I can't get it to uh, stay on. You can press the pause or break button on the top right of your keyboard to tell whether or not it's working for you. And I think that's about it. Make sure to put the executable in here. It's, um, that's what got me for a long time. I was just putting the DLLs in here. Hopefully this helps you. See you online.